What's going on guys? Got an update video for you today. Just want to apologize for no videos this week. Uh, i just been busy with things. Real life it was my birthday on Tuesday at turn 25. And, um, and today is update date. So let's get into the updates. Small little video. But tomorrow I will have a proper worth it video. So uh, stay tuned for that. Uh, let's load up the updates. So the again I'll have this link in the description below if you want to check it out. So the main things we got would be the pest control update and the donator boss. So let's go to pest control uh, and show you what that date is with that. So uh, void was improved and elite void was made even better. Uh, elite void was, I think it only worked for range. Uh, but no, 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 it only worked for melee. It only worked for one of the styles and it wasn't, it, it was, it didn't work. <laughs> it didn't work. That's, that's the long and short of it is that it didn't function correctly. Now it does. Um, it has been made a lot better as well, so I'll have a worth it video on Void tomorrow if you were wondering if it's worth getting, save your points and everything. If you have any points, uh, let me just buy a couple things. If you have any extra items, if you've opened up mystery boxes or opened up multiple and trading boxes, whatever, you can exchange them on the Squire Novice for roughly half the points back. And, uh, yeah, boom, see. I'm pretty sure that all updates actually doesn't. Um, so the, the, the minigame is essentially just an island now. You have these islands. You have these little guys over here, which you can smack for one pest control point. And then you got the big boys down south, who you can, ha you can uh, smack for five points. So theoretically, every uh, six of these is a mystery. Is it? No, 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 not six. Um... Uh, what would it be, 12, 12, 13, 13, every 13 is a mystery box? I'm not sure, so this has to be monitored. I got Steven here doing some work. We'll see, we'll see how broken it is, if it is broken. I, it's not, obviously the design isn't for mystery boxes, it's for pest control and pest stuff. Uh, so that's a short and skinny of it. I do plan to do another update soon with uh, sort of more re more, more revamps and everything. I actually spent about an hour, um, hour or two looking at actually just getting post control working again fully and there was just so many issues that it didn't seem worth it so i figured we would just do pest control island and we would do some uh you know other changes here and there uh so for the donator bus uh to get there do clone clone rock and then click the lectern uh to to get to spawn the bonds uh the boss you need one of the following so you can see it does scale based off of what donators on you are if you have the elite donator it is the cheapest. Each teleport is 10k, so let us spawn some teleports. H1. Uh, let's do two of them. So, ooh, let's get. Uh, and spawn the boss. People wonder can you spawn two? Yes, you can spawn two. Go for it. It's not a bug, it's not really a feature, it's just a thing. If you want to do it, have at it. Obviously, the more you spawn, the more you have to fight. And there's no real advantage to having multiples. Um, so, yeah. This is the boss. It's got pretty simple mechanics. Nothing too crazy. Um, it does have the, I believe, rune dragon spec where it can heal itself. Um, I don't even know if we'll, I don't remember what the chances of that, but it, it, the odds are it won't even proctor that much. Uh, so there's a pet. Got the baby rock pet. Very adorable. There you go. I'll show you the loots in a sec. Sort of the main thing you're going for is the rock feather, which uh, is cures poison infinitely. So that's pretty. It's got um, relatively minor uses, but all in all, you. Uh, uh, let's do a giant rock. Boom. So you can see the drops. So you have jar of dirt as well. You got uh, master clue. You got a lot of. You should make your money back. It all depends. I mean, if you get 10k feathers, obviously you didn't make your money back. Did you make your money back? No, you did. No, no, no. I'm pretty sure those. I'm pretty sure those are just one GP. I can't remember. I know there was a discussion about making it have more value just so you could sell it, but uh, yeah, I can't be 100% uh, certain of that. So these are drops. If you have any suggestions, any feedback? If you think it's, maybe it's uh, underwhelming or maybe it's overpowered, who knows? Let me not give you feedback. So the next update is the Elias and Spear Shield. So let's go to... Actually, we could have done it there. Um, let's uh, spawn another one. And uh, the Elias and Spear Shield effect is working. So we actually looked into it. And it turns out the code actually works perfectly fine. It was just the IDs were wrong. Um, 
And fun fact, the only one that did work was the Arcane, which is the only one that's not supposed to work. Uh, so it's all been fixed up. It's all should be correctly uh, functioning now. The Art Legend Spear Shield is the only one that has this effect because the um, I don't believe the Spectral has it either. Spectral has a different effect, which I'm going to... I have to kind of, like, plug in. But um, let's uh, spawn this and I'll show you what it does. So essentially, Elijahs are, are definitely worth getting now. If you look at our prayer points... Uh, whenever it hits you, it reduces the damage by, I believe, 30%. Um, don't quote me on that, but I, th I believe 30%. And then it also drains the same amount from your uh, prayer points. So it does have the functioning effect. You can see we're not really getting smacked or anything. And we are losing said prayer points. So, uh, very cool. Very happy to have that out. People always wondered about it. What's the point of Elijah if it doesn't work? Uh, by the way, you can't melee this. This thing flies. Durr. Durr. So, very happy to have that out. Let's uh, go with the next update. So, this one's pretty good. It was broken, but just fixed. We just we just updated, so it should be f functional now. We, uh, we got, uh, basically, uh, whenever you drink a potion, the uh, vial will no longer be there. Essentially, the auto-smashing vial thing, we just, we just did it for everybody. There's no, you don't have to do anything to get it. It's just... You no longer get empty piles. There's no reason. F there's really no reason to have them, and it's just annoying to have to drop them and shit. So, uh, very nice. Um, you can disassemble barrels gloves now. Uh, you can get Scorpio as a boss slayer task. You can't no Uber opponents anymore. Gilded items should be should require 40 defense now instead of. Uh, I think so I think one of the items is 45. One of them is 50. Either way, it was really weird and it wasn't 40. So that's fixed. Uh, and then PvP has been temporarily disabled. There's just been a lot of issues with PvP since day one. And, um, and really PvP being out of whack was, was war sort of the main issue, but recently just with all the DCs and everything. Um, and there's an issue where we, 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 are working on it. We, we got that error message, so we know, we know about it. And it's just a matter of getting, you know, when Dark can look at it and everything. But if you die and you say spam click the monster or something like that, you'll DC. I'm sure you've noticed that before. So, I would recommend if you die to not click NPCs. Like, I was testing it and items seemed to be fine. It was something about clicking the NPCs. And like I said, we got the error message, so that's being reported. But, um... But yeah, with that, that could cause issues with, um, you know, PKing. So we've just disabled it for now. And, uh, I'll have, um... I'll have an update video soon. With, uh, with more information on what the plans are. Or whenever we get that fixed, I'll have more information for you. But uh, Thanks for watching. The link for the uh, full uh, list will be in the description below. Tomorrow I will have the Worth It video out on Void. If you have any thoughts and opinions, let me know.